So Tom Bowen is from Geelong in Australia and he was born in 1916, died in 1982 and at, uh, at his peak he was treating about 13,000 clients a year. So he was doing an awful lot of treatments, um, maybe up to 14 an hour. So the main thing with the Bowen therapy is the rolling move. So I'll just demonstrate the first point we do. They call stoppers. They don't actually stop anything. It's more, that's a term that everybody uses, but it isn't actually a stopper. It's a releasing area. So we do it on the two main stress areas of the back. So we've got the small of the back <clears throat> and just at the back of the chest here. On the height of the curve there, there's a lot of stress. And at the lower back in the small, there's also a lot of stress there. So that's the first moves we do is on the small of the back, just above the hip bone, between the hip bone and the 18th rib. You're on the erector spinner. And the move is done with two thumbs together like that on the left side on the first side we always start on the left side so the move is taking the skin towards me engaging into the muscle and doing a rolling move over the muscle and on the other side we can do it with fingers so we do the same thing on the other side we take the skin slack away to the outside of the body, engage the edge of the muscle and do a rolling move towards the spine. So each of those two moves are going medially towards the spine. They're not really deep heavy move, they're a move just to, as an assessment to the area. You can assess then which side is tighter, usually people that come in with bad backs have got one side tighter than the other so you immediately know then where is the tightest side. The second move you find the top of the um, crease of the buttocks you you go up two fingers width and we divide the body into thirds there so we go in two thirds of the way out so that's one third that's two thirds and that's where the point is that we're doing. So it's two thirds of the way out of the body from the midline to the outside edge. And you're going up a couple of fingers width up from the top of the crease of the buttocks. So there, there's a junction between the medial glutes and you do the same rolling move towards. So you're engaging uh, the muscle and you're bumping through the muscle the same technique as there. So that's the third of the first four. Bowen has um, groups of four moves before you have a break. So then this side you just repeat. So you can repeat it with your thumbs. You're going, you're dividing into two thirds. And where you get to two thirds is the line of the edge of the muscle. Two fingers up from the top of the buttock crease and then you're putting your thumbs into the edge of the muscle and you're doing a move over the muscle towards the midline. It is possible for you to do that with your fingers and not, and not move around um, but it's usually a better move if you do it with your thumbs and if you do it with your thing, fingers. Your fingers is a bit more tricky to do. I think when you get a bit more proficient, um, you just go across and do that move with your fingers. But in the beginning, it's probably best to learn it to roll with your thumbs. And this is what makes Bowen now a little bit different to any other therapy is that there's a break now of a couple of minutes. And that break is for the person to be able to relax and for the muscles on the areas that we've done the move to react to it. Because sometimes it's not an instant relaxation of the muscles when you do a move. It can take a couple of minutes for it all to start to soften. So in that time then, um, what we do is we go out of the room. But when you're going out of the room, you don't want to be kind of slamming doors open and shut. You want to be doing it really quietly when you're going out and then closing the door as quietly as you can. And then after two minutes then you come back in and if you've developed a good eye you'll be able to see in those two minutes the changes from when you went out.
Okay. So with Bowen, it's minimal talk with the client. Um, Tom Bowen himself was quite deaf and he never did talk at all to his clients. So all he did was um, did the moves and went in and out of the room and his people actually did the talking with the with his clients. So that's a two minute break, come back in and then we go to the next section which is on the back of the legs.